In this video with the Ong King, I'm going to show you everything I love about Picmonic. They are an awesome company and they've got a great resource for studying just about anything. After you watch this video, check out the description of this video. There's a 20% off link for Picmonic. First thing I want to show you about Picmonic is that this is useful for just about anybody. It doesn't matter whether you're going to medical school, nursing school, PA school, pharmacist, whatever. They have a ton of stuff. They've been around for a long time and so they have a lot of very high quality stuff. And if I go to the home screen here, I'm going to pull up the browser just to show you. This is I, I just love this about I'm now I'm logged in as a medical student, so it's organized things for medical school. But you can see here all the different things that they've organized this by. So if I click First Aid, which is a book for medical students, you can see they've got this going back to 2016. They've, they're labeling it by everything. It's totally organized. Or you can go by you know the courses that you have. Or you can go by body systems, whatever. Now, what exactly is Picmonic? Well, they've got these pictures that help you remember things. I'm going to go back to the browsers. Oop. And we're going to... I've got one pulled up here. We'll do this one. And you can play it, you can quiz it, whatever. Everything is built in. This is something I love about Pygmonic here is they have it all built in with quizzes, with reviews, with everything. So if you're playing this, you can play it as an educational or a story where they're teaching you something about the spinal thalamic track or it's a story. And if I hit play, you'll see that it's going to pop up and it's going to say, you know, here's the spine Thor track. And you can see there's the spine and Thor. And it has these images and there's lots of evidence showing that this type of images and stuff are actually going to help you remember these long term. I've used these for myself in medical school and I feel like it's extremely useful. So if you're a medical student, this is a great, great resource. And I know there's a lot of other companies out there doing similar things like this for medical school. But Picmonic has a lot of things that other schools don't. And one of those things that I really like is that just recently they started working with Anki, which always, of course, gets me excited. So here's my Anki, and you can see I've, I'm just going to go into one of my flashcards here. They have an add-on you can download, and I'll show the answer and flip this over. You can see the little Picmonic eye there, and, it, and when I hover over it, it's going to pull up the Picmonic thing. This add-on is totally free. You don't have to have a subscription to Picmonic to use this add-on, which is super cool. So it's going to pull up stuff, like here's the posterior column, and it's going to pull up all of the information that you probably want to know about it, and then their video on it. Now to watch the video, you do need a subscription, uh, along with all these videos here, like we were just looking at the spinothalamic track. So all of that, it you would need a subscription, but you can use this add-on otherwise. Now if you are in medical school and you're using the Amboss add-on, you notice that pulls it up here because I have both of them installed. Now here's the Picmonic Eye. I have a setting in the config turned on to do that. Um, but I'm going to go into the config and show you. Search Picmonic. So pull up the add-on and I'll click config. Uh, this when pop-up conflicts show Picmonic Eye. So I have it set to true right now so it would show the eye and if I set it to false and then restart Anki that I will go away and you'll just get both when you hover over this you would get both of them and it works reasonably well to be honest um, I normally do not use the eye because it's a little more distracting to me what I think is cool is that Picmonic made a free add-on for anyone to use Super cool of this company. I've talked. I've actually met with the, one of the creators of Picmonic. I think that one of the things that's really admirable about them as a company is that they truly are dedicated to helping students. They're not just trying to make a buck. So, anyway, back to what this is. You can see we've got this awesome video with these different things here, and they're teaching you all of the different things. Now, this is something that I haven't found elsewhere that I really like about this. Is you can review these. So you know it, it, we can shuffle them or whatever. But if you're trying to remember this picture, you can go into the review thing and then click on things to have them show up, and it'll you know kind of prompt you and tease you essentially to help you remember this and then you can even go into the quiz and they have these questions to help you practice and you can have this image here or you can hide it if you don't want the image you just want to do the um, you just want to do the question but you know it's kind of prompting you here on what this is you can click and say oh no but that's not what it is but here's the answer it's all built into one that's what I really really like about this now here's the other thing I love and Pygmonic actually came to our school and did a little presentation on this. And I remember the first time they showed me this, I was like, wow, that's cool. Because nobody else does this. Um, so you've got all these you know, symbols that they have in this sketch for you. 
And if you come down here, here's community facts. That means these are symbols that other students have added because they felt like they were useful for this picture here. And so like Lasauer's tract or substance piece, you can click on that and you can see what other people are doing. Click on that and it'll actually add in another image. You can hit the plus button. Or if you just wanted to add in something completely different. So let's say you wanted to do, I know this isn't related at all, but lotion and I'll hit enter. I, it'll pull up other images for lotion and you could pick that and put it in here for your studying. So it, you can customize this to your lectures and stuff. And the other cool thing is you can have GIFs on here, which is so cool, right? Like, because who doesn't remember things like this? They're just silly, stupid things. That's how you remember. Um, so I really like that. You can add stuff in all by yourself. And I'm not gonna go into all of the details because there's a ton of different ways. We'll save this. Uh, there's a ton of different ways that you can tweak things and edit them and you can like for example if you click on any of these you can add notes or you can add images and there's all sorts of stuff you can do but I wanted you to get the gist you have these really cool pictures and they're totally customizable you can review them the quizzes actually if we go back to the browser um, you can see that you can quiz yourself on all sorts of different things if I go to my home um, you, you can have a daily quiz and it will actually use spaced repetition. I know I usually advocate for Anki, but Picmonic has it built in. So if you don't want to use Anki and you just want to do this, you can use these daily quiz questions um, and have settings within Picmonic itself, which is really cool. And then lastly, I'm going to show you the glossary. I think this is super cool because you can basically look up like all of the images they have for everything. It's just a really well to keep things or, uh, keep things organized in your head, and I feel like their website is extremely well organized to help you accomplish that and study, like I said at the beginning of this video, just about anything. So if you have questions about Picmonic, you can shoot us a message, or you can send one to Picmonic. They're very responsive, great company to work with, and uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at On King Med. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.